Okay, we're gonna work today in conversions and there are some examples when we're talking about cups and gallons. There are a lot of challenge uh, uh, conversions here when we're talking about capacity. So we have here that one cup is equal eight fluid ounces, one pint is equal 16 fluid ounces, one quarter is two pint, one gallon is four quarters. Now, this is the standard system. There is another system, which is the metric system, which is more straightforward because uh, in the straight system, everything, just when you go up and down, you just multiply or divide it by 10. So this is very straightforward. And those words are in Spanish, but basically what you do is from liters to go to kiloliters, it go up three times so you divide it by 10 three times each step here is 10 when you go up you divide it when you go down you multiply so each of the of the step is is 10 multiplying or divide by 10 so it's very simple when you do conversions in the metric system this is the metric system but we're going to talk today about the standard system it's the one that we use more in the united states and it gets confusing because not all the conversions are the same. So a cup has eight fluid ounces, a pin with 16, quarter with two pins, gallon four. It, it, it's kind of confusing. So when you want to do or convert two cups into, for example, fluid ounces, it's very simple because one has eight, so two, it will be 16. So that, that's very simple because you have it over there. Now, the challenge is when you want to know how many cups are, for example, in three gallons. Three gallons equals how many cups? And you don't have uh, here gallons cups, but we can find it because they are related to each other. So we're going to do some proportions here to find this so let's see I have here quarter related to pint and pint is 16 fluids ounces so if a quarter is two pints that means that a quarter will be 32 fluid on ounces right now I know that one gallon is four quarter if one quarter is 32 Four quarters would be 32 times 4, which is 64, 128. So 128 fluid ounces. Now, once you have this information, now you have a, a better view about conversions. Now, but I still does not have gallons to cups. But those two gallons and cups, you can relate each other with fluid fluid ounces this is an L fluid ounces so if one cup has eight fluid ounces and a gallon has 128 to know how many cups are in a gallon I just need to divide 128 divided by 8 and that will be 16 so I know now that one gallon you can put gallon or GN, whichever you prefer. So one gallon, it would be 16 cups. Now, and once I have this, one gallon, 16 cups, I can do now three gallons. Because I just do 16 times 3. That will be 48. So 48, three gallons, it will be 48 cups. Now, the challenge here is this play with the numbers and try to find a way to make or find the other relations that you don't see in a basic table. The basic table is more or less what you see in the black. Um, probably some books give you those two, but you can find the other ones doing relation. For example, what would be the relation for quarter and cups? I don't have it immediately, but I can find it. One quarter is 32 fluid ounces. So if one cup is 8 fluid ounces, I know that 32 divided by 8 is 4. So I can say that one 
quarter it's equal to four cups okay one quarter it's equal four cups because 32 fluid ounces divided by eight it will be four another way to do it once I have the the one quarter four cups I know that one gallon has four quarters so if one quarter has four cups four quarters it will be 16 cups and that's another way to confirm that one gallon is 16 cups I know it looks like confusing but once you check a video again you can do pause the video anytime and check the proportions you will be able to understand, understand it very easily okay thank you very much remember that this is the standard system we also have the metric system but in United States the one we use the most is the standard system so I hope this video help you uh, understand this topic and I know that sometimes conversion gets very very tricky thank you for watching and hope this video helped you in your math lessons God bless you